The Castries Comprehensive is not letting the hurdles created by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic to deter it from engaging students into meaningful activity to encourage, inspire and spur excitement amidst the known challenges. Principal of the CCSS, Mava Daniel, says the school attempted to make the method fun for students despite the spelling quiz being held online. Although the process came with its own challenges, the principal is thankful for the successful conclusion. So many students found this very exciting and very educational as the words were presented to them and last season's words were presented by class of 2021. And emerging out of this activity are these two students who had a tiebreaker and even after the tiebreaker, they still continued to maintain their position as the top spellers at our school. Scott Alsey and Adria Seferin proved themselves formidable and although only one prize was allocated for the winner, the school sought to provide two equal prizes to the winners. Ms. Daniel says the activity is one which the school will continue to hold as she says spelling helps students in their overall educational development. And we know that spelling has been an issue for students from grade 2, grade 4, common entrance, CXE. We see this as an issue because of, you know, the many quick ways that students have access to writing, probably, does, and so they're not challenged to know how to really spell. So we have these students, and the tiebreaker was for the word kaleidoscope, <laughs> you know, which we found was both an optical and a musical instrument and spelled differently. So our students here will be rewarded. Rambali's funeral parlor generously provided a laptop while Flo sponsored a cell phone to the winners. The school provided cash prizes of $200 each to the two students as well as a certificate of participation. I'm very elated to be here as a student of Castries Comprehensive Secondary School. I am one of the winners of this spelling bee and I'm proud to say that. I'm very thankful for this opportunity that was given. Very happy to know that there wasn't only one winner, but two. And it wasn't only two females or two males, but one female and one male. Mm -hmm. And normally people tend to think like girls are more articulate than boys. But I'm glad that Scott got the opportunity to show boys that not only girls can do what everyone else can do. The activity is endorsed by the Students' Council of the Castries Comprehensive Secondary School and its PRO, Akela Xavier, encourages more students from the school to participate in activities of this nature. I just want to express my gratitude and just like to, to commend these students on how brave they are because, you know, not many students would go up and partake in educational activities. So I'd really like to thank them and express how happy I am for them. The Castries Comprehensive Secondary School will this year celebrate 48 years since being constructed and handed over to the government and the people of St. Lucia by the Canadian government. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.